COVID changes everything. One man's lifetime memorabilia is heading for the skip. So before it goes, here's a short series of final peaks at the treasure or trash that has formed the Cupboard of Wonders. This is a lesson in how not to stash. A lesson for would-be hoarders. I've kept this Atari 520 ST for years. This was my computer in the 90s that I did lots of writing on. Other people have played games and things like that. That's interesting. There we are. We've got the original manuals there. The original discs. All kept in my cupboard of wonders. For the moment when I would resurrect it. And I dug it out. Had I put a mouse in there? No, I hadn't. Have I got all the right cables? No, I haven't. And so the whole project is now defunct. If anybody wants to make me an offer, it's got a lovely Kumana drive, and then I would be interested to hear, uh, sort of, if you want to give me 60 quid for it. It's actually, it's upgraded to um, 4 meg. 4 megabytes of memory! Amazing. Now, uh, what's sad about it is that I've got these discs which I'll never see again, I don't think. Um, there we are. This is Radio Scotland. That was a programme I was going to make for Radio Scotland. The Promise of the Green Man. <laughs> that never got made. Pet, pet Cairn. I don't even know what that is. It's finished. This is my backup. It's for I finished whatever it was. I, made, I wrote that. Here's my Radio Scotland work in 95-96 on this floppy disk. And... Finish writing, Bridport 1994. Mm, goodness me. But uh, a lesson to be learned. If you're going to hoard away something, make sure you put all the bits in the thing. I just must have stashed this. I can't believe I did that. But that's what I've done. An Atari. That was my computer. We hadn't even heard of the internet. Well, the internet was there, but it was so full of glitches and... It hadn't been Googled yet. And it wasn't I never I never got onto the internet, I don't think. So this is the Kumana drive, so you could have two floppy disks going at the same time. The original manuals for the software and the actual hardware of the computer. And I've kept all these disks. There's some nice programs in here. I mean it would work well. And uh, but that is it. A five twenty ST Atari four meg um, it's got its own dedicated monitor. I've got most of the cables. I'm just missing one or two cables. And there we are. There's my writing projects that uh, I'll never see again.